full moon energy vibration reading for the Pisces cancer and scorpion for the month of October this is the full moon reading October 2019 the full moon reading it begins from the 15th until um, 15th of October until the 15th of November I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here please like and share 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 these videos or please share these videos because a lot of people need to find out as I have promised last month um, each and every zodiac so the Pisces have their own um, extended energy vibration reading for the full moon so Pisces have their own a scorpion have your own and the cancers okay so a lot of people were asking especially the people who order on the month now you have your own zodiac um, full moon reading on on demand okay so check it out with a video on the hair for all the people oops who does on demand there's a message communication some of you need to communicate Mars um, Mercury is in retrograde and that is one of the thing Mer Mercury is in retrograde so be aware of this water sign um, communication is not going to be one of your strong points uh, in this full moon so be aware of that because Mercury is in retrograde sign no contract in the Sun okay so um, for each and every on demand and remember my readings are timeless so you can go back like for all the years and pick up like an October reading and it, it, it and there will be information that is affecting you now okay because my reading are timeless okay it's just the different timeline that I do them in so for all three on demand reading it is 15% off you still play less than four dollars okay I don't rent my readings they're there and they will be there for as long um, and you know whenever time and if you once you have a PayPal um, a PayPal email address and uh, um, you use PayPal you can use your email address to all the reading okay so um, you go to my website and you choose the reading that you want and then you pay with PayPal okay all right so let's check out and see what's coming up for the water sign I am going to be um you're going to be the bombshell you Pisces and you water sign some of you not all of you it depends luck is with the family for you water sign whatever is happening in this full moon luck is in the, the unexpected luck in the family I'm seeing some of you receiving especially um the creative people I'm seeing your family from um, beyond the veil is helping you out and this is going to be good okay I'm seeing your family from beyond the veil is helping you out communication some of you are going to come to the edge with when because Mars is in retrograde and when Mars is in retrograde um, you want a sign feel it more than anyone else when Mars is in retrograde okay because Mars is about communication it's about creativity also okay it's like you using the simplest thing and making success of it and this could be good for the creative mention but for the communicative mention it's not going to be good so let's see what else is coming up for the fire sign how is the fire how is this affecting the houses of the fire sign I'm seeing healing with yourself I'm seeing with money there's gonna be a lot of unexpected luck with money love is coming in from the family money is coming in from your business okay money is coming in from your business I'm seeing you dealing with the Aquarians okay I'm seeing a Sagittarius that tried to ruin your repetition it's going to be ending I'm seeing deceptiveness with a cancer um, and you're coming to the edge a cancer and a some deceptiveness with a cancer and a Gemini or a Virgo be careful some of you say um, okay so a Virgo justice comes down on a Virgo whatever is transpiring I'm seeing justice coming down and some of you need to forgive a Virgo for what they have done okay but we're going to be going in there remember that for you guys the fourth house is the house of the, the cancer and I'm seeing love coming from your family to you okay 
Um, it could be um, some of you cancers if you wanted to get pregnant you're going to be getting pregnant in this time okay for the scorpion I'm seeing you dealing with a legal issue and they are going to be taking down an Aquarius so I'm seeing you cancers really getting rid of an Aquarius with a legal issue some legal issues that you have to deal with some of you cancers some of you are using the sort of truth to remove an Aquarius from your life and this is going to be good okay uh, justice is coming in where I'm seeing karmatic situation karmatic things is going to be happening so justice is coming in hmm why is that in the reverse so okay so some of you were waiting for some invitation from a um, Aries luck is here I'm seeing the devil in the sixth house of the house of the Virgos if some of you had an issue with a Virgo I'm seeing a Virgo try to do you something but luck is here on your side um, definitely some of you scorpion is definitely going to be getting rid of an Aquarian whether they were married to you or whatever I'm seeing that the um, whatever that is happening between you and this Aquarian I'm seeing justice choosing for you because this Aquarian could have done something whatever the situation is I'm seeing positive success is coming in news of success is coming in I'm seeing that the truth is going to be coming in whatever secrets there was I'm um, a Virgo whatever a Virgo I've done and whatever secret a Virgo has done it's going to be coming out because I'm seeing like legalities with a Virgo um, and a secret something that a Virgo did is going to be coming out and the truth is going to be here okay so um, yeah I'm doing this in the evening and the Sun um kind of said it's rainy and that sort of a thing I'm back in Europe so the lightning is not that good so um, be aware of this ladies and gentlemen so for um, the first house is a cancer unexpected um, unexpectedly for the cancers there's some emotional situation with a new love or a child whoever this new love or this child is I'm seeing like um, a cancer who really wants to get pregnant this is going to be happening unexpectedly I can so whatever that you were dealing with with a new love and emotional there's a lot of emotional play but I'm seeing that some of you who are missing someone and find out that your soulmate someone you were seeing that the relationship ended on unexpectedly you could be reconnecting with this person so you have to check out the extended reading use this link this link or this link down here to find out what is happening for you guys okay so um scorpion but anyway uh, I'm sorry guys so let's look in your first house in your first house what you're dealing with in your first house in the house of self I'm seeing you trying to build build up your personality build up your character um, I'm seeing you balancing out things I'm seeing you trying to um, stand strong and some of you are definitely need to bring balance in a situation some of you um, were um, you know were wishing that a Virgo would reach out to you but this is not happening some of you are really coming out being very strong and feeling very good about yourself because you have spent some time working on yourself and this is going to be good some of you wants to reconnect with a Virgo but it's not going to be happening some of you could want to reconnect with a Taurus but it's not going to be happening but I'm seeing you feeling good about yourself and that is the most important thing once you are feeling good about yourself nothing else can stop you in the in the um, second house of uh, um, your second house is where your financial stability again and go back and check out the monthly reading and the quarterly reading I'm seeing a Capricorn helping you out a Capricorn is going to make sure that your wishes and dreams come true this Capricorn is not 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 only a, 
a lover but she's a he or she is a friend so a Capricorn is definitely going to be helping you to make your wishes and dream come true I'm seeing some of you could be deciding to get married to a Capricorn but as you connect with this Capricorn you are going to be financial stable whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring as you connect with this Capricorn um, there is not only love and this is someone um, that you already or in a relationship or a business and um, your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out um, for a Capricorn this person could be your partner or a good friend their wishes and dreams is going to make you um, financially um, stable so you could have had a business with this person or this person wants you to have a business whatever but their success is also going to make you financial stable as um, as we look at the third out, it's about um, uh, about your you know social media and that sort of a thing. There's a lot of positive emotions. I'm seeing a lot of people that is connecting with you. People like your work. I'm seeing people in power are going to be protecting you, protecting your work, and seeing the good that you're doing for mankind. So this is this is like good. So. If you have a business this month is going to be good for you Pisces because I'm seeing a lot of love is coming in a lot of people are going to be connecting with their soul family um, this is so good because a lot of people are going to be finding each other I'm seeing you connecting um, and uh, people if you are um, doing business together with your partner I'm seeing a lot of people people in power is looking at the work that you both are pulling out uh, um, people in power there's a lot of um, information a lot of people are going to be communicating with you so this is like good because whatever is happening I'm seeing people around you are really um, sending positive energy and positive love towards you guy I am seeing also co positive connection with you and the family whatever is transpiring I'm seeing really positive energy coming up with a family so for everyone else I'm seeing happiness and joy I'm seeing if you want it especially this is the house of the cancer um, for the cancers luck is coming in with a child luck is coming in with an emotional issue luck is coming in with new love and this is going to affect the rest of your water sign okay so with the family unexpected luck is going to be coming in with a family where healing is going to be taking place unexpected things are going to be resolved in the family area and especially for kids whatever the emotional situation is that you were having um, I'm seeing this being healed and uh, connection is return in the house of passion um, if you're a creative person it's going to be a very very good month and your creativity is going to be bringing a lot of financial abundance I'm seeing transition with your um, in, in your world so if you were doing something and you were passionate about this person this thing or this situation I am seeing a lot of uh, um, it's like money you're gonna start really start to make money okay this um, what is coming to an end I gotta find out what is coming to an end okay the deceptiveness is going to come to an end you're going to be finding out the truth about something and it has to do with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius okay so some deceptiveness that an Aries man has done of a Sagittarius Aries Leo or Sagittarius man have done is going to be coming out you're going to be finding out about this and it's like you win a legal suit where and you're going to be finding out that your business if you were trying to do a business and it was being blocked that they're going to be finding out that an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man an older man was deceptively stealing from you and he's going to be caught and sent to jail so that's it for you people who are you know working on your passion and doing your stuff working on your passion um there was an older um deceptive man that they're going to be um um they, they, this person has been trying to block your financial and stealing from you for a very long time and they're going to be caught him and he's going to go to jail okay as we move to the house of career um, I'm seeing some of you dealing with a uh, Gemini be careful of this person in the house of career whether is on the work floor or you're in business with this person be careful of this person 
this person is so deceptive and is driven by the devil itself thus you have to be aware of this Gemini whoever this Gemini is because they're not working and this is something to do with the people at work there is a Gemini or a cancer these are two-faced people or Aries a Gemini cancer or Aries on the work floor you got to be careful because these people are not very nice but whatever they are planning they're going to be falling in it and you're going to be coming out so it could be um, yeah whoever this person is whatever they have done you are going to be having and um, you're going to be finding out and so you're going to be very lucky some luck is here because they're whatever they're planning they're going to be falling through this okay whatever they're planning they're going to be falling through this okay and it has to do with uh, oh an Aries that this person someone is doing uh, um having something to do with an Aries a younger person um this could be a friend this could be someone who you have known but um this could be also a child um if you have a child that is an Aries they could be going to jail so if you have a child that is an Aries they could be going to jail because um this is in the house of the Libran so whatever that an Aries or someone um, is a younger person this person is going to jail because of something what they have done and you can see them at your work so if at your work or um, it could be um, your partner or a friend or so that this here is is going to jail because here is just standing up and it's the Libra um, the scale of balance and it's in the house of relaxation you're going to be finding out or um, an investigation is done against a young Aries and they're going to jail so it could be your child it could be somebody else's child but um, you're going to be finding out um, what happened now in um, in the area of intimacy some of you were um, dealing with an Aquarian Gemini or Libra um, yes it's an Aquarian fraud if you were married to an Aquarian fraud some of you could be getting married to an Aquarian for or some of you could be going in a relationship with an Aquarian fraud a lady it's it's not it, don't do it hmm because it's the house of intimacy so some of you could be in a relationship with an Aquarian um, um, lady and you want to get married to this person I don't think it's a good idea but it's okay because you have to learn your lesson whatever karma you and this Aquarian person have you have to learn your lesson so it could be also if you are seeing other people are sleeping around your husband or wife is going to be finding out okay so there I'm not even getting it go check out the love reading okay so we're looking at the house of seeking whatever is transpiring this is the house of spirituality business some of you could be in business with a cancer and you're going to be successful okay this business is going to be successful some of you could be having issues with a cancer overseas but it's going to be resolved because the truth is going to be coming out. So some of you could either have issues with a cancer overseas or business with a cancer overseas. It is going to be working out because uh, we are seeing that whatever the issue and the situation is, it's definitely, definitely going to be working out. Okay. I'm looking because uh, um, I'm seeing this. <laughs> uh, I check, I check everything. It, once I'm at home because they have broken in my home before I check to see everyone I want to know the license plate I want to know who you are and why you're doing it. <laughs> okay so um, whatever is happening with you guys and a cancer you're going to be very successful because they're going to be finding out what the cancer has done as we um, have the house of reputation I am seen as Sagittarius in the house of reputation. A Sagittarius try to ruin your reputation, or a Sagittarius try to take something from you, and you're going to be successful. So there's, there's a lot of succession, and I mean that you um, 
um, water sign are going to be really successful over a Sagittarius. A Sagittarius tried to ruin your reputation, and the tower moment came down on the Sagittarian. Okay, so uh, it could be a Capricorn is going to help you again, uh, help you to regain your reputation if your reputation was. Uh, damage a Capricorn is going to be helping you to regain your reputation because um, a Sagittarian try to um, to uh, you know bad mouth you and uh, do something deceptive um, you're going to be overcoming this you're going to be successful because the Sun and the star is huge a success so you're going to be overcoming a deceptive situation people try to ruin your reputation and you know and that's why God I always tell people God doesn't like ugly um someone a cancer and a Sagittarius try to ruin your reputation and a Capricorn is going to be helping you to bring an and resolve someone famous um, um and some of you are going to be honored and achieve and get an award so you creative people and people who have your have a business um, you're going to be praised and you're going to be receiving an award. Whoever the Sagittarian is that tried to mess with you, they're going to be finding out the lies and deception of the Sagittarius. And whoever the Sagittarius is that tried to ruin your reputation, a Capricorn is going to be coming in and re -e and heal your reputation. Okay. Then we have the elf house of coming to the edge. We see communication. Whatever this communication is and whatever the situation is, this is the house of the Aquarian. The 11th house is the house of the Aquarian. Now, whenever we come to the edge is when we have situation to deal with other people, organization, and that sort of a thing, okay? So it could be with a business, a situation that is... Communication is the key, okay? I see that you need to communicate um, whatever is going on. Communication is, is the key because some of you are feeling... And some of you are not communicating so if you're not communicating and some of you are not communicating but you need to communicate more whatever the issue is and the situation is I'm seeing um, people are trying to deceive you and it has to do with a cancer or a scorpion um, so a Gemini cancer or a scorpion try to deceive you and you're going to be finding that out okay so it can be different for it can be all three of them trying to deceive some of you but a Gemini it could be also a Virgo a Gemini a Virgo and a cancer and a scorpion try to deceive you or did something but you're going to be receive a message over this okay all right secret secret secrets okay a Virgo I've done something to you Pisces because um, you Pisces your house is the 12th house so a Virgo have done something uh, against a Pisces and the secret what this Virgo has done against you is coming out because justice is is, is, is um, like the someone found out what this Virgo has done Okay, whatever lies and deceptiveness, a Virgo has done something, and someone found out what this Virgo has done, and justice comes in, or someone in power is going to be helping you to resolve what a Virgo has done to you. Some real lies and deception, what a Virgo, because in the house of the Virgos, you Scorpion, you're dealing with a Virgo, you gotta be careful. Luck is on your side, you um, Pisces. But you're dealing with a Virgo and a Gemini, a Virgo and a Gemini, because it land in the house of the sixth house at your work, a Virgo. You got to pay attention to a Gemini and a Virgo and the Aries at your work, Pisces. You have some luck, but you have to pay attention. So let's say that you had, that you Pisces, you got to pay attention to a Virgo, an Aries, and a Gemini at your work. You have luck on your side. But don't turn your back to these people. For the rest of you, what a sign. I am seeing some of you could be finding out secrets about, um, some of you could be finding out secret about a Libran if you're married to a Libran. Some of you could be finding out some secrets about a Libran. Some of you could be finding out some secrets about a Virgo. I am seeing that some of you need to have forgiveness for a Virgo and a Libran. 
in power okay because there are some secrets and some situation that has transpired and you have to really forgiveness is going to be the key forgiveness um, you Pisces and you water sign forgiveness is going to be the key please like and share these videos let me know remember for your extended reading each and every one of the signs each and every one of you guys for the Pisces cancer and scorpion there's an extended reading use the link for more than three of my on-demand readings they are um 15 percent off and no matter what is going on and no matter what is happening you got to understand that the readings are timeless so if you go to 2018 or you go to another full moon like the full moon on your birthday then you're going to be realizing that there is information with a full moon on your birthday that is going to affect you so when you're ordering you can go back to your birthday go back to 2018 October and your birthday reading plus the on-demand that's going to help you because all the information is going to be um, affecting you guys in your life okay so more than three readings 15% off I love you what a sign have a very very wonderful full moon and I'm saying bye namaste